Ever since the independence of our country from past 78 years, we all have been raising our voice for the concern of farmers and small businesses, foreign potential for the for a district level economic growth and and generate employment, taking us to the goal of the Uttar Pradesh government carpet making industry under the far-reaching one district one product program. My name is Divya and I am a student of Dhruva College of Management, Hyderabad. Firstly, revolutionary program started by the Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh, Yogi Adityanath. While both capitalistic and socialistic were busy arguing, the politicians took it as an, took it as an opportunity and give, uh, give promises to the freebies and then rest to the power. But we all know that the farmers and small businesses are still struggling even after 78 even after the independence, even after the independence. And you know what? This is why because the Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh come up with the initiative of one district, one product program. The best part of this program is that this program has been so successful in past three years that it is remarked as a important scheme which uh, important scheme for the rural regional economic development all over the country. Secondly, why is Uttar Pradesh so so keen about one district, one product program? We all know that India, our country, has a huge cultural diversity and geography and a diversity from capitalistic standpoint. To tell you about this, if you look at Dubai, Dubai's aqua venture parks and uh, sky slow, sky slow with 6,000 tons of snow within in a freaking desert. They had done in such a such an incredible job that that as of uh, India, while India has 17.91 million tourists, Dubai, a small country, has 16.73 million tourists. Similarly, if you, we have crops and handicrafts and woodworks and many other things but which are uh, export worthy but neither the makers of this product and nor we the users know its potential. Why aren't we able to leverage it? The major problems are like lack of awareness and marketing and do not have technology to develop a low cost productivity and many needs government subsidies and this is the reason why the chief minister of Uttar Pradesh has come up with this one district one product program with the vision of transforming every district of the state into an export hub by identifying specific products. Thirdly, let me take you through a case of Uttar Pradesh of Uttar Pradesh of Kalanamak rice also known as Buddha rice of Siddharth Nagar. It is a naturally scented rice and it also has many health benefits like it is a gluten free and it has anti-cancer properties and also it is rich in protein, natural fibers, iron, calcium etc. It also helps in prevention of diabetes and Alzheimer's and also hypertension. In fact, in spite of this crop grown in our own country, very few people know about this. And except few farmers were willing to grow this crop because because of lack of awareness, and this is the and this is where the one district one product program came as a game changer. In the next three years, this this uh, one district one product program has uh, been so successful that it, the farmers who used to grow this crops has increased from 15 to 20 farmers to. 750 to 850 farmers and the area where this Kalanamak rice is grown has increased from 2,805 hectares in 2019 to 10,000 hectares in 2022. And governments also assisted the farmers to brand the Kalanamak rice as a Buddha rice which made their good branding and also attracted Buddhist countries like Korea, China, Japan and Vietnam etc. And it made a Kalanamak rice which is Buddha rice and become a good export brand or product. In 
closing the uh, to expand this e-commerce platforms like flipkart and amazon were used in a, in fact in 2020 the flipkart had signed an mou with the uttar pradesh government and now flipkart is actively engaged in uh, making actively engaged in breaking the entry barriers for the farmers to enter the market thank you divya for you